How's it going everyone and welcome to this comparison video between the two Adidas icons, um, the newest editions. These are the uh, Adidas, not Adidas icons, sorry, Adidas Copas, the newest editions. These are the Adidas Copa icons, um, 2023, probably till 2024 season. Um, like a throwback 11 Pro Adidas boot with the leather like uh, material. Really, really soft and comfortable as you can see here at the front of the toe box area. Uh, midfoot is similar like the old school Copas, Adidas Copas. Um, and then we've got the new new edition, um, Adidas Copa Pure 2. These are the plus versions um, with the one piece upper material in the midfoot. And we'll be also talking about the point ones, which is very similar to this, but the point ones have the two piece material. So you'll be able to stretch out more similarly, similarly, uh, similarly, like the Adidas Copa, Copa icons here. Um, so the main difference when I've used them, um, I had did, decided not to bring out the point ones, the Copa Pure 2.1s, um, because I've used them on Money Pitch and they're just really dirty. I need to give them a good clean. Um, the main difference is just the sizing and the prices. So of course, the plus and point ones are around 220, 200 pounds, but they will drop in the near future, maybe two, three months time when new colorways come out. And you'll probably be able to get them for 100, maybe 100, anywhere from range of 130, 140 to 180 pounds. Um, these Copa icons are 150 pounds and they do drop down to about 110, 100 pounds if you're lucky at the cheapest, uh, or 120 pounds um, for these Copa icons, Adidas Copa icons. These are cheaper than the Copa Pures, of course, because they these are the newer versions. So that is the price difference. And then, as I said, the other difference is for the sizing. If you have narrow feet and you like a control boot um, that's a bit more heavier and offers protection, go for these Adidas Copa icons. Um, these run very narrow in terms of the midfoot area, especially in the toe box as well. It's very narrow. Um, the heel cushion is really soft and comfortable and it's very strong and aggressive. Not aggressive, but very stable. Doesn't uh, It's not very flexible and doesn't bend back much. So it will mold into your feet um, fairly easily after a week of use. Um, but these are only designed for, in my opinion, narrow feet. If you have normal to wide feet, you will struggle to put these on, even if you go a size up. Um, I'd recommend if you've got narrow, normal to na uh, wide feet to go for the Adidas new Copa Pure 2 Plus or um, 2.1s. Uh, much more accommodating in terms of the midfoot area. If you have normal feet, you can get these. If you've got wide feet, go for the 2.1s is my recommendation uh, because they have the two-piece material, so you'll be able to stretch out the midfoot and especially the toe box area has much more space for you to put your foot into the boot and also for striking and shooting and it gives a bit more space. Um, so that is the comparison video between these two boots. Fairly similar. This is more of the newer edition. These are more of the old school Copas. So it just depends what you'd like in terms of the design, as you can see here. Um, but... Yeah, this is the, as I said, new generation. This is old generation, more of a throwback boot and just comes down to personal preference, really. Um, did a comparison last time with the Copa Pure ones with these, and it's fairly similar to the new editions of the Copa Pure uh, 2 Plus or 2.1s. And if you have these or the icons, please make sure to comment down below what you think. Um, leave a comment and, and if you have any pros and cons as that really does help out people making a decision when they're going to buy the boots and then yeah make sure to leave this video a like and subscribe and i'll see you next time for another unboxing um, playtest or boot review video all the very best and take care